All right, so here we have uh, ignition coil packs. This car is a 3.1 liter engine. It has uh, three ignition coil packs, and um, so they're both. They're all. All three of them are um, single deal, single units. So you could replace just one if you wanted to, but I don't think it would necessarily be the best idea. And so what I'm going to show is how to check your coil packs for uh, see if they're bad. Uh, though it doesn't necessarily rule out intermittents just because of the way intermittents are. Uh, a short happens at random times. So what you do is you set a meter on ohms and this is checking the secondary coil and you should be getting somewhere around 5 to 8 K ohms or 5 to 8 thousand ohms. This one is reading uh, 6 thousand so the secondary coil is good. Uh, the way you check the primary coil is you flip it over and hopefully I can do this one handed. You have to use fairly thin leads test or probes. Okay, so there's the reading on the pack, the coil pack, this is the primary coil. It should actually be reading somewhere around um, under one ohm of resistance. And as you can see, it hasn't gotten below one ohm yet. So it's probably bad. Anyway, that's the that's one of the coil packs. I um, I'm going to replace them all because I don't think it's a good idea to just replace one. And they're pretty simple. In fact, I can probably show you how to replace one very quickly. Impact driver makes very short work of it. Oh well, let's see. Here's how we want to actually do it. We're going to take the new one and we're going to transfer the plug wires. You can see I've already done one. Uh, and I'm going to transfer the plug wires, hopefully. Very easily. This is a surefire way to not have to worry about. mixing the wires up. There's two bolts holding each coil pack on. There's one back here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, just barely. And the dipstick is kind of in the way. So I'll pull that out of the way. If it doesn't fix my problem, it will at least help it, help the vehicle. Well, come on. Underneath the coil pack are, oh, that red thing there probably should not have, no, it shouldn't have come out. So we're going to stick it back in like this. The other thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure it's clean back here because dirt does sometimes 
short voltage which is kind of crazy but yeah it does so it's a good idea to keep your battery top clean of dirt etc but all those pins right there are for it's for the back side these little slots here very simple you have to turn it over you put it on and you just press it down it's a really easy deal all right and then the bolts go back in and again the rule of starting any bolt is you always start it by hand you can finish with a power tool unless you're torquing it but always start it by hand the reason is a power tool can easily cross thread it whereas by hand it's a lot harder and especially if you can feel it and you know what you're doing so there's the bolt back here yeah, this one's not really wanting to go in really really well so it may take a moment to persuade it to find the hole these uh, bolts are 5.5 millimeter bolts uh, kind of a small size but and yeah there we go it's actually threading now it wasn't perfectly lined up so impact driver they don't have to be super tight. I mean, come on, 5.5 millimeter bolts. I happen to know that when my impact gives one click like that, it's plenty tight. Um, I just happen to know that about my impact driver. It's an impact driver, not an impact wrench. Well, that's how to replace a coil pack. The last one will be just the same. Pull your plug wires and put them on the new one and then uh, take the old one off and then put the new one on real straightforward I am going to measure the resistance on all these coil packs just because I want to see what they look like and see if there was some that were bad and some that were somewhat good but I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of difference the biggest difference though is you see that made in China on here well the ones here, uh, you can see, well no, this one doesn't say it as clearly. It's a select brand, uh, select brand coil pack. Huh, that's interesting. This one doesn't say it as clearly. The one I put on first says... made in USA uh, not all coil packs are created equally and certainly not all plug wires are created equally I'll show you how to um, test plug wires later but you can test them for ohms I recommend taking an ohm meter to the parts store when you go to pick up plug wires you could uh, save yourself a lot of hassle that way